Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen with KathleenStamps.com. Today I thought I would show you this technique of faux cloisonné. Cloisonné is an enameling technique that's used on jewelry where they lay down delicate strips of gold or brass or silver or some other type of metal over on a piece of metal and then um, that's fired and they're in the resulting spaces that are between those gold strips they put in colors of enamel and then that's fired and the colors just kind of melt in between the gold strips so hopefully uh, by using this technique we're going to be able to simulate that and it's really easy to do so the first thing that you're going to need is to find a design that you want to use for your cloisonné. Now what I did is I started looking through old magazines and finding color patterns that I really liked. Um, I, I'm attracted to the colors that are here and it can be a picture of just about anything that you're going to stamp over. Um, like this pink dress, the design that's here, Easter eggs. It could actually just be a photograph of a variety of things. And what I really liked was this image of this doll, Barbie doll, and this beautiful colored skirt. So what you would do is take your stamp and you would ink it up. I chose to use the swallowtail stamp. And what you will do is you will ink it up with your Versamark and then stamp it in the area that you really like and emboss it with the gold embossing powder and um, then, then heat it with our heat tool. And what you'll end up with is this design right here. This is, I had two of these pictures that I had taken out of some old magazines, and this is exactly the area that we got, and that was taken from the design right there. Then what, after it's embossed and cut out, then what you'll want to do is to come up with your coloring of your cardstock to see what colors would work the best. And I decided that I really like this Island Indigo, our gold cardstock, and our basic black cardstock. Um, I wanted to get a little more detail on the Island Indigo, and um, I was trying to figure out how I could get some design on it. And what I did is in our new holiday catalog that will be available on August 1st, we now have um, the Encore Gold Pads are back. And what I did is I uh, squeezed the Encore Reinker into a dish and then I took my Aqua Painter and swirled it in the dish and then I tapped it like this on my finger, the Aqua Painter, and I was able to get this gold pattern or the spritz on the Island Indigo cardstock and I thought it looked really nice with the butterfly. So then what you'll do is you'll just take your pieces and mount them all right on the gold cardstock. One of the other things that I thought would be really nice is maybe some small little dots of gold and I used my cupcake builder punch and I used this little area right here and I punched out three little um, hole punches out of the gold cardstock and thought we could I could line them up on the cardstock like this and it might add some additional interest to the card also and you could then turn the butterfly any direction that you wanted so this is the card and here is one here is another one that I showed and let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and you can get a little closer image and you can see just how beautiful that turns out by just stamping on any colored surface um, just the magazine pages it's really easy to do and I think it makes a really elegant card 
So I hope that this is interesting to you and that you will give it a try. Um, again, the technique is called Faux Cloisonne, and I hope that you are liking this card and that you'll go ahead and um, get out your stamps and try this also. So if be sure to follow me on my blog, KathleenStamps.com, and thank you for stopping by today. Bye.